Well, several local hospitals in our area are now treating COVID-19 patients with plasma donated by those who have recovered from the virus. But as Channel 2's Jeff Preval reports, there have been some issues with the supply chain. Yes, doctors at UB and Catholic Health tell us that there have been some supply chain issues. They tell us that they want this plasma, which is experimental treatment, but really has shown to be beneficial for some coronavirus patients. A number of local health care systems such as Kalina Health, Roswell Park and ECMC are also in the process of getting people who have recovered from COVID-19 to donate their plasma. At UB, doctors tell us that some of these supply chain issues have to do with the fact that recovered coronavirus patients have to be fully recovered and symptom free. It also takes a couple days to check the plasma and UB says it can only accept plasma from six people a day, again resulting in lag time. And we knew there will be this lag. You know, we, we actually were completely aware of it. But I think we will be dealing with the lag by, um, by, by next week. Doctors at Catholic Health say that the Red Cross has not really supplied any plasma yet, and Catholic Health has had to purchase plasma from the New York Blood Center. Catholic Health says that it has had some people donate specifically for their health care system. Now, the Red Cross response to the supply chain issues saying that plasma donors have to meet additional requirements than just your typical blood donations, such as being at least 17 years of age and a verified diagnosis of COVID-19. I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.